Hi there, I'm Becky Hammond and welcome to Isogo TV, where we are using Strength Finder to fuel the marriage connection we crave, the parenting grace we need, and the work energy that flows from a happy home. Today you are joining me for Isogo TV episode 61, and this is the last in our mini-series about marriage, where we are exploring the ins and outs of how to really connect more deeply with your spouse by using your strengths to get there. So join us in this episode and definitely catch up on the other seven episodes if you haven't already to feel the delight of love more often in your marriage and perhaps even to have something good to talk about on that date night that I'm sure you're planning by now. Also, be sure to grab the 34 Ways to Connect free PDF over at isogostrong.com 34connect. This free resource will help you get your mind flowing about how you can actually use your spouse's top five strengths to connect at a deeper level and delight him or her in a surprising way. So I'm excited as we wrap up this series on marriage and your strengths. So let's dive in. At the end of this episode, I want to invite you to a free masterclass. So be sure to stick around to learn how to sign up. In the meantime, we are diving into the five secret ways to meet your spouse's needs. And for me, as of today, I am very clear about my own most deeply rooted psychological and emotional needs. They range from needing freedom to work at my own pace to needing some serious alone time to needing to work towards something that's bigger than myself. I know these things pretty well now, but it wasn't always that way. And it certainly wasn't always that way for knowing David's deepest psychological and emotional needs. In fact, it, it perplexed me to no end how he could think that things that I thought were not that big of a deal were so significant. I remember one particular evening questioning why he felt the need to unpack all of our bags when we came home from a trip, even before we let out our breath through the door. But what I see so clearly now that I didn't see then is that his need for action and for order were at work as he unpacked. And I just needed to let him go and enjoy it. Enjoy it myself and let him enjoy it. <laughs> Since we have discovered our strengths, David and I, through the Strengths Finder, we have seen not only the genius and beauty in each other's talent, not only the strength that we each are trying to bring to our relationship and to our world, but we've also realized we have this amazing tool now, this language to help meet each other's needs in a very specific way. With David's top five strengths, I have immediate access to the five secret ways to meet his needs. It's almost like a playbook. Now, one of my colleagues out there would be careful to point out that you cannot give from an empty bucket. So your ability to pour into your spouse's needs is directly related to how well you are working to get your own needs met in your daily life. And as we talk about in the Nine Steps to Life Change course, it's, it's not someone else's responsibility primarily to meet those needs, but yours. So let's say that you feel full and healthy enough to pour into someone else. Well, your spouse's needs are the perfect place to start and you can use their strengths to get there. So by far our most popular and most downloaded resource is the Bring It, Need It, tool that gives you a hint as to one of the most common psychological and emotional needs for each of the 34 strengths. And so this would be a great place to start with your own spouse. You can grab it at isogostrong.com slash bring it, need it, or over in the show notes on the isogostrong.com blog. So if I were starting with David's strengths, for example, I'd use the Bring It, Need It tool to pull out the needs of his top five strengths. So for him, Relator, he, it needs meaningful one-on-one -on -one connection with people he cares about. Two, Arranger needs a dynamic environment. Three, Context needs historical information and input. Four, 
futuristic, needs the freedom to dream. And five, belief. He needs a mission that he believes in. So those right there are five secrets to meeting his needs right there in the strengths finder language. Then I'd explore kind of the ins and outs of our most recent life events to see where he might be low and I, where I could help fill him up by starting to help meet some of these needs or fill his buckets as one of my favorite children's books says. So for example, recently, as we've experienced some significant changes, both expected and unexpected, I've intentionally given him space to dream, which is a direct need of his futuristic strength. And that space allows him to paint a picture of the future, even when it scares me, even when I don't think it seems possible, even when it flies in the face of my own desire for security of my discipline strength, Rather, just allowing him to dream and paint without judgment. And it's so filling for him. And I can just see him light up and fill as those drops go into his bucket. So this is the final challenge in this marriage mini-series. As you use your strengths to connect more deeply in your marriage, to connect more deeply with that spouse that you have committed to. As you have the fullness in your own emotional and physical bucket, make a real attempt to meet the needs of your spouse through one, exploring his or her five secret needs through their strengths. And then two, picking one to see what you can do to help fill, fill that need. And as you do that, you will grow all the more deeply in connection with your spouse. I know you will because I have experienced it and seen it in the relationships around me. And that's what this entire series has been about. So if this is your first episode that you're catching, be sure to go back and start at the beginning to catch all seven that came before this. And as we wrap up this series, I want to invite you into an experience this fall that I'm sure will be life-changing for you and can impact your marriage in a huge way. I'm hosting a free Strength Finder Masterclass about re-energizing your marriage and your work through your strengths. This can take you from knowing nothing about your strengths to seeing the clear connection between your strengths and how they impact your own life and your most important relationships around you. So you will find the waitlist signups for this free masterclass over at isogostrong.com slash free masterclass. And when the fall comes, and I'm back from maternity leave, you'll get the full details and your special invitation to the free class. So I hope that you'll join me over at isogostrong.com slash free masterclass. I'd love to see you there and continue this conversation that we've been having about creating an even deeper connection in your marriage and energy in your work through your strengths. I'm so glad that you chose to tune in here today for Isogo TV and for this entire mini series on marriage and using our strengths to connect more deeply with our spouse. As we wrap up, I want to make sure that for the final time, you get your free copy of the 34 ways to connect over at isogostrong.com slash 34 connect. So be sure if you haven't already pick up that free PDF resource over there and If there's something throughout this entire series that you found particularly thought-provoking about your own marriage, or you still have questions, or you have other suggestions or ideas of of things that we can continue to talk about and address and struggle through here on Isogo TV having to do with our strengths, I would love to hear from you. One of the best ways to do that is actually over on our Facebook group called Energy Up, Frustration Down by Strength. I would also love to hear from you over on our Instagram account. You can follow there at Isogo Strong, or I would love to see a picture of you and your spouse, how you've connected in a new way uh, because of some of the things that you have learned about your strengths or about their strengths. You can do that by tagging at Isogo Strong over on your Instagram account as well. And then finally, I would love for you to rate and review iTunes, to give us five stars, to help show iTunes what we're really about, and to make it more accessible to other people who are looking to figure out how do they get more from this life through living their strengths. 
and in this case, connecting more deeply with their spouse. So that's it for this marriage mini series, but there is so much more Isogo TV to come and I look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Isogo TV.